Hope University was founded by Doris Walker in 1979. It originated with eight students, and those eight students were members of the High Hopes. Doris Walker first discovered Paul Keane. I'm playing the piano, and then I said, what key did I play that in last week? And this little voice in the back said, um, key of G. And here's this kid who never says anything, who never participates, blind, mentally retarded, rocking in the back of the room. She started working with Paul and found out that he had an incredible voice, an incredible ear, absolute pitch, and then put together a band around Paul's talent. The High Hopes are unique. There's no other group like that uh, in the country that I know of that are really can handle a professional program and can perform the way they do. They played at the Grand Old Opry, they played at the White House, they were in Time Magazine. They are a phenomenal group. Hope University is a wonderful haven. It's a beautiful place. It's a very supportive environment. And that allows for the students to be able to really express themselves. These students are like beautiful flowers that just blossom forward and become these incredible beings that they are in on this earth. With the water of the garden, which would be the music and the, you know, the art. Slowly these students start coming out. <laughs> He's never been in a home where there was a piano. He said, can I play the organ? And I said, oh, sure, come on in. And sat down and began to play. And I thought, oh, my, what have I done? Hope University has a motto, and it's to train the talent and diminish the disability. And that's what we actually try to do here. Hope University is the first arts-infused program of its kind for adults with developmental disabilities. All the students have different strengths and different weaknesses that they're dealing with. The real goal is to bring out their strengths. Hope gives them a place to kind of draw out what's inside of them and even sometimes they get surprised at what they can do. Like, wow, you know, I can do that. Ours is just an excellent, excellent school for performance. We have a bell ensemble, we have a choir. But over the years we've expanded to include the visual arts. We now have drama, we have dance, as well as the academics and the therapies. Here at HOPE we teach a lot of basic art techniques. Some of the work is reproduced on greeting cards, pillows, business card holders and tote bags. The proceeds go back to the school and to their own program. It's really exciting for the student. To sell your work is a big achievement. So that gives them all uh, self-confidence and self-esteem and just a feeling of being accepted. From uh, the time they were very, very small, they've faced challenges. For maybe some of them the first time in their lives, they feel like they have something to contribute. She loves and cares for the individuals as if they were all her own children. And um, she expects the staff to do the same. These individuals are so loving and welcoming um, as is, but when you add a staff that is so talented and so caring and so nurturing to the mix, that it, there's no other place like this. I am extremely proud of the staff that I have here at Hope University. They just welcome the students each day and make them feel good about themselves to compliment them on each achievement that they see them make. I always tell my staff when I hire them that uh, parents are, will always be concerned about their children, but if they have a child with a disability, that's going to magnify. This gentleman over here is my son Tom. He gets to perform. That's really what he likes to do. I dance, I boogie, I shake, and I have a good time with it. It's been a blessing for everybody. What Hope University has allowed Ben is to be himself. When he started here, it was like a new person. He, he just blossomed. I've seen so many families say, I don't know where I would take my 
child if it weren't for Hope University. We're thrilled that we have a wonderful program like Hope University where he can be nurtured and, and uh, in a safe environment. He is an artist. His is just a combination of color and motion. There are lots of students out there that need a Hope University in their lives. And unfortunately, we don't have enough space at our facility now to really take on more students. We're just starting a capital campaign to obtain uh, between five and six million dollars for a permanent facility, which we are in dire need of. The quarters we're in right now are really small. We're bursting at the seams, literally. Rooms are, are storage areas as well. So each day we have to remove uh, many, many things from each classroom. And then at the end of the day, all those things have to be put back in there. Hope University has one major goal right now and really a dream, and that is to have our own facility. You know, we've been in existence since 1979 and it's, it's about time that we have a permanent facility that we can call our own. We hope to accomplish our dream by um, donations from corporations, donations from foundations, donations from individuals who are realize what we're doing, the good that we're doing. Through events such as what we held on Saturday evening. This year we had a sock hop. It consisted of a silent auction, live auction, dinner, and then a dance. Uh, you know that we have this event every year to add to our uh, building funds because we are going to have that new facility. I know we are. It's so important that hope continues because they're, they are that seed of hope. It, it needs to continue because the students need us and we need them. Because where else will these people go? If you have the opportunity, come and see us and really see and experience what we do here. And of course, you know, help us with our building fund if you're if you're able to. Mars still strove with his last ounce of courage to reach the unreachable.